Hello ladies and gents, I'm the Rev and this is the Start Point Gemini 2 Beginner's Guide Episode 5 where we'll be discussing the Cruiser class and the Battleship class tonight. So, what we have here on the screen currently is a cruiser. And as always, I will be breaking up the sections so that you can go directly to what you want to watch. So, this is our cruiser. I've got all dialed out here. Let's go in here, take a quick look at the loadout. And of course, I've got my light shredder, the light plasmic, uh, the light weapons, the plasmic threes. Then, of course, we've got some fusion torpedoes. A shockwave on the back, another uh, rail gun to match the one on the front, and another fusion torpedo. Comes to enhancements, you can see it's range mostly, in fact, it's all ranged. <laughs> and then you can see how we've buffed up everything down here. Ooh, that's a great one. Come on. Show it. There we go. And that's just a nice easy balance. Of course, hit points. And a little bit of everything on this. So, as always, when it comes to your equipment, make sure that you have enough T drives. And my personal selection, of course the Seths. Now they are expensive no matter where you go it's always going to cost but you will want to save up for them especially if you're going to do what we're going to do which is go straight into enemy territory here. So hold on one second folks and we shall take this beast and start pushing into the center of map because when you get up to the point where I am level 35 lieutenant commander it's kind of the stuff you've got to start doing is point, pointing yourself towards this area here because things get real difficult and you start having more and more fun. So hold on and let me see if I can find something big and nasty for us to fight. Alrighty folks, looks like we finally got at least three coming at me at once. Now at this point, when you start pushing cruisers and up, you don't need Seth. You can pretty take, much take everything on yourself. You see, I just pretty much make Swiss cheese out of everybody. That and uh, with the range, I pretty much start nailing everybody way before they get to me as well. Target eliminated. Now there should be. Oh goody. Mm-hmm. That's right, bring it on in, son. Or run away like a little girl. As always, you want to make sure you're picking up your derelicts. Alrighty folks, so since I can't find any real battles, what I'll do is show you some of the Empire ships that you'll be taking on in the center. This one is very common that I'm running into. It's not doing well against me, but not bad. It's doing okay. Oh, now he's close. Now he's in trouble. Oh, 
And of course another one down. Target eliminated. Nice. Ooh, this one says alarming, so we'll hurry up and get down over there. Affirmative. Engines on overdrive. Of course, we are in Empire Space near the center of the map. As you can see, we're playing around here, having fun. We'll get right in here and kill this sucker. We'll get a little closer, though. Hey, handsome. Yes, sir. Fire at will command executed. go fusion torpedoes just sitting all kinds of nasty stuff oh good maybe we'll get more coming in to fight whoa swinging way out for that one <laughs> enemy in sensor range mm hmm Oh good, looks like something's coming up behind us. Enemy ship destroyed. Alrighty, ladies and gents. This is the SS Sub Tub. One of my battleships. I picked this one because we haven't done this kind of a design, I don't think, yet. And it looks like a giant submarine in space. I think it looks pretty cool. So, let's take a quick jump down here to the old planet. I'll give you guys a lowdown on how she's broken up. Alrighty, so. Of course, we've got our shredder and hammer, because those are just the two best weapons so far that I've found in the game, and I put them on all my ships. Now, at that point, things start to change. So I put rail guns, as you can see on both sides, and you can see damage, rate of fire, energy so they can continue to fire then we got a fusion torpedo on one side shock wave on the other the old plasmatic at the back and another shock wave now where things start to get fun is here we now have a hangar a flight deck so I currently have the bombers on here because the average damage is 50. So I got two of those guys, or well, I should say one. And then we've got our interceptors here. The damage is only about 25. So we'll take in this last spot. We'll put that last one in there. And then we'll hop over here to enhancements. And as you can see, through the bonuses, you can see all of these. So let's check these guys down here. You can see again, just solid bonuses, speed, acceleration, a little bit of everything. If you can ever afford that, that one I think was 160,000. Spendy but worth it. Grappler one, or sensor, just buff the hell out. Grappler buffed out, and then the flight deck. Actually, system hit points, fly, fighter damage, fighter HP, and soak. So they're tougher, stronger, and hit harder. This is always a good thing. <laughs> now, trying to find something <laughs> that's going to be able to actually go against this is going to be fun. So, hold on, folks, and I shall be back in a moment, hopefully in the middle of a big old nasty we'll battle. pushing out here, see if we can get these other guys involved. Oh, yeah, all right, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, lots of them, lots and lots. All right, cool, I can start actually trying. <laughs> Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. We'll bring these guys back. We'll launch another flight. Woohoo! <laughs> now this is what I find to be fun. Sensors are picking up 
Bring it, little empire boys and girls. This is what we want. Oh, we destroyed more than one, honey. Ooh, there's another good one. Focus fire on that bad boy. Whoop. There we go. Alrighty, so we'll start sending off some of our fun stuff here. Woohoo! Oh, I'm getting hit from a whole bunch of directions. That's okay. Well, not to another one of those bad boys. Because you can never have too many Seths in orbit when you are... And I'll show you guys real quick. See, I'm almost at the center of the Empire, right outside Planet Carthagena. <laughs> this is how you found... Oh, look at all those ships around me. <laughs> all right. Those guys are still refueling. Woohoo! There's another one down. That's right. Everybody come home to roost. The big dog is in town. It's also a really good way to level fast if you guys can see. <laughs> Look at all the husks. Oh, you gotta love it. I cleared the whole planet. Alright, everybody coming home. Come on, boys and girls. Enemy incense arranged. Mm -hmm. Really? Do we have more? It would appear. So... Alarming, hmm. Well, he'll be here soon enough, and as you can see, it's a great time. As always, keep hitting that shield booster. Get those shields back up. As we're waiting for this guy to come in here and pretty much get his ass smoked. And there goes all my fighters after him. Oh, okay, we'll go too. A little bit. Actually, we're going to watch it because, again... We don't want to push too far out away from our cess right here. So. Oh, good. We've got more. So you guys can see all the gray stuff down here. These are all the ships we've smoked. Now, we don't go any further. We'll stay right where we are. All right. We'll just start firing off our nice huge battery since we've got so much. Aphrodite, huh? Ooh, honey, I just don't think you're going to make it long. All right. And who is next? Oh, it's a cute little guy. Ooh, that guy's he's like, screw this, man. I'm out of here, man. I'm out of here. Yeah, we better pull these two back. They need to be refueled. Come on, guys. There we go. We'll leave one flight out. Really? No one else is going to come out? Well, I guess. <sighs> so what happens when you just wipe the whole fleet? Ooh, I see more stuff. Those guys are way out, though. Oh, they're flying in, though. Sensors are picking up Let's see. Hostiles in the vicinity. Nothing too intense. Ooh, alarming. Come on, kids. I'm sitting right here. Let 
Really, y'all just gonna miss me? Come on, little ones. Yeah, that guy says, screw it, I'm out of here. Enemy incense range. Yeah. This is what tends to happen. They figure out how bad you are and how outpowered they are, and they just run like little girls. So there you go, folks. You can see our Seth right there with us. One of them. And as always, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'm the Rev. This has been the Starpoint Gemini 2 Beginner's Guide, Episode 5, Cruiser Class and Battleship Class. Hopefully I give you guys a good idea as to what it takes and what kind of fun you can have when it comes to bringing the big ships online. And I'm going to sit here and make my easy experience. All right, ladies and gents, just want to jump in here real quick, show you guys the aftermath of this battle that I was in. You can see I've got like five to ten Seths deployed everywhere here. And you can see down here, there's just stuff everywhere. 20, 30, 40 ships. I've just dominated and killed them all. And that, my friends, is what you get when you start running battleships, dreadnoughts, carriers, and even the cruisers. At the point you get up into this, it's just chewing them up. So, I'd like to thank you for watching. I'm the Rev, and I'll see you next time if the gods don't get me first. Or the wife.